all of the tickets items on Roblox are possibly going to go limited very, very soon. Let me explain. So recently we had the tickets tie come out for the first time in seven years, and this is our first ever ticks limited. Well, it's not our first, the first ever ticks limited that was from the Tixapalooza event, was the Tixplosion. I don't remember the exact date that it came out and went limited, but I will have it up on screen. Now, for those of you guys who are new to Roblox, the Tixapalooza event, well, first, let me explain what ticks are. Ticks back in the day were a free currency on Roblox. You would get ticks by logging in to Roblox daily, having people playing your games on Roblox, or you could just choose to sell items like clothing, game passes, and other stuff for ticks. Now, Tix was pretty much the free currency and Robux was the premium currency. But in about April 2015, 2016, Tix were removed. And with their removal, the month before that they were removed, Roblox told everybody, exchange your Tix for Robux. And Tix were also pretty much a way to get free Robux because you could just exchange Tix and get free Robux, which is another reason why they were removed. Now, the month leading up to their removal, Robux did an event called the Tixapalooza, where they released all these items up on screen, and they all went on sale, and after Tix were gone, they were gone. And we have not seen them since, up until now. We had the Tickets tie and the Tixplosion go limited. Now, do I predict that there's going to be more Tickets items that could go limited? Possibly. Now, let me explain. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Editing cycle here, guys. So, literally, as I was still editing this video and I was going to upload it tonight, the Tickets Valk has just released. It is now about 3 million Robux. It's worth 3 million Robux. This is absolutely insane. There's only 23 premium owners and there's only 131 total copies available. Now, most of these copies are probably banned or inactive. So there's definitely a lot of people who just got 3 million Robux and they don't even play Roblox anymore, which is kind of stupid. Now, I know a lot of people are happy about this. I know Lonnie is definitely happy because Lonnie collects all the tickets items. Um, who else? I think he's the only one that I know that has all the tickets items. So this is honestly just insane. This was completely out of the blue. And I just find it crazy that this happens to come out as I'm making a video about tickets items going limited. And I'm glad that I waited to upload this. So yeah, the ticks Valk just went limited. This is honestly insane. It is so expensive. It's going to be one of the most expensive items on Roblox easily. It's already getting huge overpays on it. And this is honestly just crazy. And Lonnie, by the way, if you are watching this, please, if you can, just slide Roblox. Go go talk to some staff over at Roblox. Slide them a little, a little cash and, you know, just tell them to make some other items limited. Like <laughs> the purple bucket of cheer and the rest of the six items. Thanks. Now... Seeing that we had the Tix Valk, the Tix Tie, and the Tix Explosion go limited, that only further proves my point that Roblox is possibly bringing back the Tix items. Now, they're not gonna bring back Tix, that's for sure. Tix have been gone for seven years, but seven years is a long enough time for those people to enjoy their items and it's time for them to sell it off. And so that way they can be tradable and stuff. Now, seeing that the Tix Valk came out, this just proves, guys, even though the Memorial Day sale has ended, we're still going to be getting daily limiteds, it seems. So my theory is Roblox is going to be releasing limiteds every single day just to make up for what they didn't do for the past three years because it is no longer Memorial Day and we are still getting items put on sale. Like those DIY clockworks, if you guys were in my stream yesterday, which I will be making a video about the DIY clockworks also. So make sure you guys do subscribe, hit the bell, turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. Um, the DIY clockworks, those did not come out on the Memorial Day sale. And why would they release the clockworks, the DIY clockworks? They know that we want the work clock headphones. Everybody wants the work clock headphones. Everybody wants it to go limited. Now, why would they release the DIY? Obviously, they're doing that because they're trying to troll us. And usually when game developers troll their fans like that, that means that they're going to do it. So, yeah, this is honestly insane. Now, here are some of the Tix items that I believe are most likely to go limited. So if there's any Tix owners in this video, this is for you. So the Tix items that I do believe have the highest chance of going limited is the Tix Dominus, the Tix Domino Crown, the Tix of the Federation, I believe it's called, and the Tix Vision Face. 
Now, these are some of the big ticks items that I believe will go limited, and some of the smaller limiteds that I do believe will go limited is the ticks beanie, because I have the ticks beanie, so, um, yeah, obviously I'm gonna be biased, and I want the ticks beanie to go limited. Um, the ticks beanie, and possibly the tick shaggy. I mean, maybe not because the Robux Shaggy is off sale. I believe it's a toy code item and the Tick Shaggy is obviously an off sale ticks item. So I do believe it has some potential, but eh, maybe we could have the Tick's Crown also possibly go limited, but those are the most popular ticks items. So I don't really know if they're going to release the unpopular ones, but only time will tell so if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead drop a like comment down below what you think about this and tell me what do you guys think is going to happen do you guys think roblox is going to just keep on releasing limiteds every single day and like because this is honestly crazy like roblox honestly feels so fun now like there was a point just earlier this year i did not play roblox at all i quit the game the game was boring and dry and now the game feels, this feels like how the game was back in like 2017, 2018, when they were just releasing constant sales, constant new items and new limiteds. Like the game feels fresh and exciting. And if there's anybody who has connections to Roblox or any Roblox developers that are watching this video, please keep doing this. This is good. Keep your old fans. No need to let's just all focus on collaborations and uh stuffing money into adopt me so we can have all these little children who weren't even born when the game came out like just have them spend their money like keep the real fans i'm a real fan i will stay those kids have no attention span they're going to play adopt me spend their mommy's credit card for like five dollars and then they're gonna get scammed and then they're gonna cry and then they're gonna leave roblox i will not other traders will not so yeah if you guys did enjoy this drop a like subscribe hit the bell turn on all post notifications and i'll catch you guys in the next video it's psycho peace